Hey guys and welcome to Full Tilt Poker. Uh, tell us a little bit about myself. Um, I'm playing poker now already for a year. I wasn't doing too well when I just started because uh, I didn't know anything about poker. So I lost and I won some. Right now I'm at a point where I'm able to win consistently on the, on the lowest level you can imagine, which is five, five, ten cents. Actually there are lower levels. You have one, two cents and two, five cents, but that's a bit too, too low. Sometimes I move up to 10, 25 cents, uh, but usually I just play here. I haven't tried the higher stakes yet. They look a bit scary to me. Um, so the reason for making this video, oh, first let me tell you, I usually play with four tables at once, but I don't today. I haven't today, today because of recording purposes. It's not really practical. So the reason for making this video is um, to ask the question, no, we're not going to join more tables. Uh, whether or not um, full tilt is uh, is rigged or controlled in any way, um, <laughs> I have seven queen. Yeah, no, yeah, he has me beat. I know he has me beat. Go oh, king. I thought he had uh, something better. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, so why do I ask myself these questions? Well. First of all, strange things happening on full tilt. We'll uh, get back to uh, on that later. Um, but the other reason is, um, from what I know, is full tilt is making money on rakes. So it's in our best interest to have as many people as possible hooked to the game. I don't think it's in our best interest to have few people outplaying the others because they will give up and uh, they don't make much money on their rakes. So that's one theory. I may be wrong. May sound paranoid. I don't know. Uh, regarding these strange things are happening, um, this is what happened to me a lot, and I bet everybody is able uh, will recognize that in playing poker online. You play sessions for two, three hours. Everything is going your way. You make like twenty dollars or thirty dollars in doing a session, which is uh, is is, uh, is a lot of money on this level. And then the next session, you. Nothing is going your way, <laughs> really nothing. I mean, you miss the flop, you miss everything, or you know, you're being dealt pocket king against, and, and you go in all in against a maniac who has pocket ace, and of course he beats you. So, yeah, just wondering if it's uh, control anyway. And, and uh, according to those sites, they uh, they tell you that the cards are dealt randomly. In order to prove that theory, I start playing with uh, 16 tables at once. Okay, so I have another screen here that I fit all on there. 16 tables, can you imagine? You have to be really fast, you know, it's like click, click, click. But I play the same, exactly the same strategy. And to my surprise, the same thing happened. I didn't, I didn't hit anything. Um, a few minor pots, but uh, you, you're missing the draws. You're beat by trips. Um, and of course you can fold in an SP, uh, SPR of 5 or 4, but you still lose. Um, you cannot beat the good cards really in poker, um, unless maybe you're Tom Juan or the Negrano. <laughs> they can, <laughs> but uh, you cannot really beat, uh, I'm not saying good cards, but mainly the situations, because if, um, if you have top pair and someone else is on a trip, you're forced either to fold or you can call and lose even more. So and that's just the way it is. So you cannot be that. So I just wonder what what people think about this. Um, I find it kind of strange. Um, I, I guess opinions differ. I guess there are many people say no, it's not rigged. It's just random. And that's just uh, the nature of playing poker. You have uh, you have downswings. But I found it's just kind of strange. I don't see that happening playing um, offline. It's, it's there's a, there's a, there are differences there. So anyway, leave, uh, feel free to leave comments and um, we'll go from there. Thanks, thanks for watching.